let's install PyTorch on Windows 11. Of course, we have to have Python installed, so let's start by installing Python, which I'm going to download from python.org. And I choose Downloads and download Python 3.10. Make sure that you add Python to the path and then install Python. Great, so Python was successfully installed. And since we added Python to the system's path, we should also have access to pip. So let's make sure that pip is installed correctly. And to do that, I'm going to open the Windows terminal and check which version of pip I have installed. And we got some version, which means that pip is correctly installed and we can use it. So Python and pip are installed. Let's now head over to pytorch.org. And if we scroll down a bit, we get this installation tool. So first we need to choose a Python build and I'm going to go with a stable one. And then we need to choose our operating system. And of course, I'm going to choose Windows. And then we need to choose a package. You can go with Conda, of course, if you want to, but I'm going to go with pip. I just find it simpler. And we also need to choose which version of CUDA we want to use. So if you don't have a GPU in your computer, go with CPU. But I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I'll go with the latest version of CUDA that's available, which is 11.6. So before installing PyTorch, I first will install CUDA 11.6. Now make sure that it's not the latest CUDA version. And I'm not going to download the latest CUDA version, but version 11.6, because this is the version that's supported by PyTorch. So let's open Google. And here I look for install CUDA 11.6. And the first option is the NVIDIA website, specifically developer.nvidia.com. And here is CUDA toolkit 11.6, specifically 0.2, but it doesn't really matter. And this is the one that we want to download. So let's go ahead and download it. And we need to choose our operating system, Windows in my case. And it's Windows 11, so the version is going to be 11. And let's download the exe local installer. Now you can click here to download the CUDA installer, but I'm not going to download it because I already downloaded it before. So there is no point in downloading it again. So I'll just open the file in my downloads folder. And here it is, CUDA 11.6. So let's install it. It's a relatively big installation, so it will take a few minutes. Great, so CUDA was installed. Let's close the installer. And let's now make sure that we can actually use CUDA. So let's open the Windows Terminal again. And we need to restart it, so I'll close it and open it again. And now we need to run nvcc dash dash version. And here we can see CUDA release 11.6, which is the version we installed and CUDA is available for us. Let's now get back to the PyTorch installation. And now that we have CUDA installed, all we have to do is copy this line and run it in the Windows terminal. And pip is installing PyTorch. Let's wait for a minute. And PyTorch was installed. Let's see if we can use it. To do that, let's open Python. And let's see if we can import Torch. And we can see that the import was successful. Let's try to run the rand command from within Torch. And it worked as well. Now, to see if we have CUDA support, I'm going to use this post from Stack Overflow. And here are a few commands that can be useful for that. So let's copy the first one. And we got true, which means that CUDA is available. Let's run the next one. And we can see that we have a CUDA device. And let's check for its ID. And its ID is zero. So let's try to get some info about it. And it worked as well. 
Let's now try to get the device name. And we got the NVIDIA graphics card that's currently used.